In this episode, we're going to discuss a major milestone I'm about to pass in D crops, as well as reveal the chest and rewards I get from it. And we're going to dig a little deeper into a major part of the game, which is the quest system. And it's not easily understood by those who are new to the game. If this sounds interesting to you, please stand by. Hey everyone, welcome back. Bronze Dragon here saying thanks for dropping by. I do appreciate your time. Well, it's been a minute since I did a D-Crops video. Uh, not that I've laid off playing. I have uh, been playing. And in fact, I've been steadily growing uh, my assets within the game without making huge purchases at any one time. But uh, season after season, I have been growing uh, with my plan to try and get at least four copies of all of the plant cards, at least the commons, rares, and epics. Uh, some of the other ones, the higher end ones are quite expensive so I've been working on the lower end ones and I've also been picking up some trees here and there so that's been my basic perspective in the game but right off um, I was unable to understand the questing system when I first played started playing the game so I haven't really been doing it if we go over to the play tab you'll see that um, my first major milestone I alluded to in the intro is that this will be the first season that I have completed all the quests now my first mistake when I first started the game and tried to complete quests was that you don't get credit really if you just do one or a few of the quests. You have to complete the full list of quests. Okay, And in fact, when a season first starts, as far as I know, the best thing to do first off in the season before you plant any crops or anything is get your quests lined up. Okay, And by lined up, I mean you will press the re-roll button for your new quest from the last season. Okay, And you'll get this list of quests, right? And you'll look at them and compare them to the seeds that you have and see the ability uh, if you think you're going to be able to complete those quests, in other words. If not, you do have the choice of using re-rolls. Now, re-rolls do cost crop tokens, but it's not overly expensive. And that's what I did this season. I came in, I uh, rolled my uh, quests, or I re-rolled my quests at the very beginning of the season, and I saw two or three of them there that there was no way I was going to be able to complete because they were pretty expensive seeds and I didn't have them. So I used a little bit of crop token and I re-rolled until I got to where, um, and it didn't take too long. I, I re-rolled a few times, um, but I got to a list here which I could easily handle because I had all of these seeds. Okay, so that's the the basics of it. So the first thing in a season, re-roll your quests from the last season before you even plant the crops. Second, take a look at the crops that uh, you have quests for and compare them to what you have the actual seeds and land for and turn time, so you can be able to complete them all. And uh, third, just go ahead and re-roll uh, until you get to a list um, that you're going to be able to complete. As far as I know, that's about, uh, the best plan I could come up with. Now, going forward, what's that mean to a person? Well, <clears throat> uh, when I first started off, a lot of people did tell me that the quests were one of the major ways you could earn off of this game. And by the way, if you hear a lawnmower in the background, that is going on right outside my window at this point in time. So please excuse. Either way, you can see that I have this, we're about halfway through the season, and I do have uh, this list of quests completed. Now, it's mostly because I didn't, uh, there isn't any really long seeds on this list. Okay, I think, I, I think uh, my last set of uh, seeds that completed were turnips, and they were like six or seven day seeds. So um, they just completed completed today. Now, what's that get me? Okay, well, first off, if you complete all of the quests in your list, then you get a base set of 10 rewards in your reward chest. Now, on top of that, you can see that for every 15k crop power you have, you get an extra item in that chest. Okay, so one of the other things I've been working on is increasing my holding rewards, okay? When you get above 20K, then you start getting hive rewards 
uh, for what you're holding in game, basically. Okay, I'm not quite there, but I have made good strides in the last couple weeks, and I am up to about a little bit over 16,000. So what that also means to me is that uh, I get one extra chest because it's a little bit over 15,000. When I get up to 30,000, then it will be an extra two two items in the chest okay on top of the 10 so you can see here that my reward chest has 11 items in it and it can have a, a number of different things in it and they're all related uh, usable within the game so with that said let's go ahead and draw uh, this will be the first chest I've opened in uh, D crops so let's see what I get And it's taking a minute. Okay, here's my chest. Season 74, 11 reward items. Let's open this chest and see what we got. Verifying on the blockchain. However it works in D-Crops, behind the scenes, I notice it usually takes a little bit longer than what, like opening packs and Splinterlands take. So, I've got one copper ore, two stone, one pepper, or two, uh, one three-star pepper, one two-star pepper, one speed grow, two mystery seeds, and three ferdy plus. So, a good overall uh, selection of items. I'm not in the position to use copper ore or stone yet. I may sell those. I don't know. I may just save them for the future. Therefore, making items, obviously. Uh, the difference here in three and two star, obviously three star is better quality. So it's may it's used to make better quality items, food. Uh, speed grow is used to grow your crops faster. If you are trying to slide in a longer crop into a shorter period you would put the speed grow on the plot first and then plant the seed um, and then that would make it grow faster uh, mystery seeds are one-off uh, most seeds when you buy the NFT, you can use them for a season and then they go into cool down and then the next season um, you can only use them once per season. They have a 15 day cooldown period on them. Okay, so you can't just take it off and replant it immediately. So uh, that encourages buying more of having multiple copies of the card. Well, mystery seed is one off. It's you never know what it's going to get. You plant it and it's random, but it only works one time. Um, and then 30 plus, which is also a booster. Okay, so um, nice. Let's go ahead and refresh and go back to uh, the quests um, and we can see that the drop rates here uh, for the items uh, so I did get some stone which is a 10.5 uh, copper ore is a 6% so that looks to be my best drop was the copper ore and obviously the most common uh, are the boosters and these items over here so it did pretty well so I think I covered everything I wanted to on the quest. It was just something that was, there's several different things about this game, which on the surface seems seems like kind of like a simple game. But as you get into it, um, there's more complexity and it's trickier. Um, and there's some things that weren't exactly evident whenever I started out. But while we're here, let's go ahead and take a look at the three year anniversary event because I have been participating in that as well. It's got a little bit over one week left in it. Uh, I do not have any um, any eggs to claim uh, for another two and a half hours. However, I was successful in getting my bunny totem and I do have nine golden tickets and I would like before it's uh, before it's over I would like to go ahead and get the unicorn parfait if possible obviously the alpha and beta packs I'm just new to this the alpha and beta packs are um, very popular they sold out pretty quickly I do have 270 eggs we can go ahead and give one golden egg away to someone else now, uh, if you're unfamiliar, uh, this this event uh, you can get in on. I think it cost like cost me like eleven dollars or something like that to get in for the whole uh, 
for the whole month basically and you get uh, three golden eggs per day plus people can send out random golden eggs um, and I've been getting them every once in a while from different people entering and whenever you put in a golden egg and send it to somebody um, obviously they can open it and get whatever prize is inside of it but also you get your name into the daily drawing how many ever times you enter uh, for uh, the raffle um, and they have a lot of good prizes on the raffle so either way that's going on uh, if you want to get in on it uh, it's about a week uh, week left on that um, so let's take a look at uh, real fast we can take a look at uh, we'll take a look at the cards I have uh, this is the assortment of cards we're currently on summer um, so that you can see uh, what crops you can see that I have uh, for each of the common, rare, and uh, epic. Uh, I don't have the legendaries yet. Uh, I do have a few trees. I have, of course, from the uh, olive tree event, I have several of those, and I have one apple tree, um, and that's a winner. Um, I'm working on getting a few other trees as well because that's why I was so interested in getting the bunny totem, which increases the chance of two and three star crops off of the tree uh, trees, but um, there we go. We can go over to my farm and you can see what I have planted currently. Uh, and I am up to three, four, six, seven, eight uh, rare lands. Um, I've, I've been averaging like every season adding a rare land to it. And it depends upon finding a good deal and etc. So like I said, I've been building my seeds up slowly um, and building my uh, building my lands up um, and it's uh, I just wanted to do this video to uh, note that this is the first time I've completed the quest so there we go uh, let's go back to play and leave it there if you're new to Decrops or would like to start playing uh, and you need some more information check out my videos on the topic ask uh, put some questions in the comment section of this video and I'll try to answer them for you I try to make these videos every once in a while when there's something that I consider you know kind of newsworthy and worth making a video about uh, also uh, if you're interested in getting started you could use my uh, referral code in the, um, the show notes please do. It uh, gives me a little bit, helps me out. Keep going. Otherwise, I hope everyone on your side is happy and healthy, and I will see you on the Decrop side.